Now, the University of Calabar has commended the National Youth Service Corps for releasing the names of 93 unqualified individuals who were wrongly mobilized for the one-year service scheme. This action follows a 2023 complaint filed by the university. The institution is urging NYSE to release the names of additional 85 former students involved in similar fraudulent activities. The Dean of Student Affairs, Professor Anthony Ayang, stated that the university initially uncovered the fraudulent mobilization, submitting a list of 178 individuals with suspicious records. The situation has also led to the suspension of the university's data entry officer, now under investigation by the Independent Corruption Practices Commission. Ayang emphasized that ongoing investigations should not overshadow the administration's efforts in advancing the university's overall efficiency. It should be noted that it was the university management that exposed this criminal act and brought it to the attention of NYSE and other organizations, and not the other way around. In September 2023, Internal sources brought to our attention that a certain individual who had not graduated was on national service purportedly from our institution. We quickly launched an investigation which confirmed the allegation and revealed 10 more cases of infiltration of the NYSE portal. Arising from this report, we wrote on the 4th of October 2023 to NYSC, appealing that those 11 persons involved be apprehended and prosecuted. On the 24th of October, NYSC responded in line with our resolve to launch a full-scale investigation into the issue. On the 31st of that month, October, the university wrote to ICPC, UU resident office, inviting the agency to wait into the matter. We wish to state, as contained in the report, that the names involved were definitely not found in the records of the university as having graduated. The records include Senate approved results, summary list for printing of certificates, and master list in NYSC format for upload, all presented by respective departments.